All right, uh, welcome back. We're gonna look at the parasternal long axis now. Uh, we've hopefully watched the video on a normal uh, left ventricular ejection fraction. Now we're gonna look at some reduced or severely reduced ejection fractions in the parasternal long axis. So uh, remember, this is one of our binary questions, and so we would would have already asked this question: Is the left ventricular function normal? And on these cases, we're gonna see we would say no. And then we're going to say, well, is the left ventricular function severely depressed? And we're talking about systolic function here. So once again, we're going to go ahead and uh, orient ourselves here. So we're in the parasternal long axis. Here's a diagram here if you need help. But we got our septal wall, outer wall, and we can see here on the uh, inner wall of the left ventricle. And we want to see how well those collapse towards each other. And as we see here, they're barely moving. There's not a lot of movement. They're not collapsing towards each other well. And so we're going to say, no, this is not normal uh, ejection fraction. And then we're going to say, well, is it severely depressed? And in this case, yes, it is. And we're not going to get down to numbers. But severely depressed is typically thought to be under um, 20 to 25% ejection fraction. And if you do measurements, that's great. You know, go ahead and throw a number on it. But as far as just eyeballing it, I would talk in terms of uh, severely depressed, uh, moderately depressed, uh, minimally depressed, and um, normal and typically as you start out you're going to just do normal and if it's not normal is it severely depressed and kind of um, not get down to the, the different distinctions between moderately and minimally in this case though we can tell the inner walls aren't collapsing towards each other and then also we talked about looking at the valve and see how close that valve comes to the wall and if you pay attention this valve's moving very fast but it never comes up and slaps that wall so you would either say, is this a stenotic valve, or is there aortic regurg, or is it just that there's a severely depressed DF? Uh, looking at the way the walls are moving, we know this is a severely depressed DF. Here's our second example. So that last one was going a little faster. This one, not as fast, but not also a severely depressed DF. We've got a little bit more motion than the other one, <clears throat> so it might be a slightly improved DF compared to the other. But when we look at this wall and this wall, they're not collapsing well towards each other. There is some movement, but not significant, not enough to be a normal ejection fraction. We can look at this valve, and also this valve is not coming up towards the uh, septal wall. So um, two clues that this is not a normal EF. And we just got to ask ourselves, is this a re severely reduced EF? And, and my answer on this would be yes on this one. It, they just is not a lot of collapse. I don't think it um, is sending out more than half of what it's re or half of the volume that's there. So. And finally, we're going to look at a, this is a significantly reduced EF. This is a very dilated left ventricle uh, with very minimal uh, movement. So once again, orient yourself. It gets a little hard because this septal wall looks flat or looks kind of compressed. But here's your septal wall, free wall. And then we're going to see how well do they collapse towards each other. And they're, I mean, they're not collapsing hardly at all to e towards each other. So this is a severely depressed ejection fraction, very concerning. Um, and once again, if we, if we were struggling to see that well, then we would want to uh, look here at this valve and we can tell it's not come up and coming up and slapping the wall. And one thing I'd like to warn you of is don't, if you can't see those inner walls, don't make a guess at the EF. Uh, you need to, you know, at least see the inner wall well um, to be able to estimate the ejection fraction. So hopefully those three examples help to understand what the... Uh, uh, severely depressed EF looks like, and if you haven't had a chance, watch the one on uh, normal ejection fraction um, so that you can get an idea of what normal looks like also. Thanks for your time.